I wanna share with you guys today my fitness journey. I really feel like there's a lot of pressure to look good and not enough information on how to get there naturally. I'm all for a nip, a tuck, whatever you gotta do, but I'm gonna share with you guys how I look my best. My journey started really at 18. Just growing up, I felt like my body didn't look like those around me. You know, like I was a little bigger. I wouldn't say that I was overweight or anything, but I was in a space where I really didn't like my body. And I didn't understand it. The curves, you know, more hips and butt than like those around me. And I'm talking about elementary school. So I was insecure about it, you know, for a long time. I remember finding journals about this stuff and I would literally draw stick figures and then figures that had like, that was big and I was like, this is me. I'm, I'm, I wanna be 70 pounds instead of 85, like crazy stuff. And I realized that that was really like a body issue I was going through later in life. And so, you know, I went through life with these insecurities and then I moved to LA when I was about 18. And I realized that I can take control of my body and my health, right? I met a trainer and I decided, you know what? I wanna change, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna do this. So I start working out and as I'm working out, my trainer's teaching me, you know, his name's Mike T and he's in LA and we started the journey together way before like social media was popping and I was doing videos. I made the change, I started working out two times a day, committed. I would drive back and forth an hour, start my day off, it would be like a 8 a.m. workout and I'll be right back at four o'clock, like I'm crazy, right? To the point where I overdid it, lost way too much weight, but I worked out hard and then I found out the nutritional aspect, which is super important. Ever since then, I'm like, if I miss even a week in the gym, I literally feel dirty, like, like something is off. It's my go-to, it's the boost to my day. I start my day working out and if it's a great day and I have enough time, I could do two times a day, but I know I'm committed to one time a day and maybe I'll give myself a day or two off in a week once in a while. I knew I had self-esteem issues when I was considering like, throwing up, you know, and I'm looking up how unhealthy that would be and what that looks like. And I'm like, okay, it's not healthy. You know, I'm learning about it in school because at the same time in health class, you know, they're teaching you about anorexia, bulimia. And I'm like, do I really want to go that route? Like, that's not really healthy. Your teeth get bad. I'm trying to figure it out, you know, and I didn't really go down that route. But at that age, you know, we're so impressionable that I think sometimes you make that choice, right? And it may not be the best choice at that time, but when you want a certain image, you wanna do it and you wanna do it quick. But that's without knowing, you know, having the tools you need, you know, our, our people perish from lack of knowledge, you have to give the knowledge. And for me, it's like one day, I just figured the knowledge out. It took me a while, you know what I mean? Like I'm talking about from elementary all the way to 17, 18 years old and then I finally was like, okay, this is how I'm gonna do it. To the point where I was like, I won't even eat gum. I went extreme. I was like, it's sugar in that. You know what I mean? Like to the point where I got home, my mom was like, you need to eat. You went to LA and you came back like this. I mean, if you look at pictures, I was like a double zero, but it was, I wasn't not healthy. I just took it far. So now like for me, I found the, the best in between like place for me. That's really how my fitness journey started. I really, really had bad self-esteem issues growing up though with my weight. I know the most important part is taking control of your own health and like your body, you know, knowing that you are in control of it. You can wake up one day literally and change your life, you know, just by your thoughts and how you perceive yourself. You know, one day I woke up and I was like, I don't like this no more. And I was like, I'm gonna change it, but you have to do it the healthy way because there are so many different issues when it comes to body and body images. But that's how my health and fitness journey started. And I'm gonna share with you guys the really exciting fun stuff, but that's how my journey started. I feel like over time, I just started to embrace my curves. I think that's something that just takes time. It's like a healing process, right? It's like eventually you have to look yourself in a mirror and like the reflection, love the reflection you're looking at. It took time, we're human, you know what I mean? Like even when you think you've got everything all together, you really don't. So it's like, yo, know, like let me embrace the process. Let me embrace where I'm at right now. And I had to get to that point where I could look at myself and be like, okay, you might not be where you wanna be yet, but you gotta love yourself right here. You just have to like love where you're at and the process of things happening, right? If I'm 200 pounds and I wanna get down to 180, 
I love this 200 pounds, you know what I mean? Because hey, your body has feelings, everything has feelings and emotionally, like you're gonna hold on to that weight until you decide to say, you know what, I love you, I embrace you how you are, now let's work on this. That's just how life is, that's how it goes. Like you have to be okay with the process and the journey. I've learned to be okay with my journey and my process, whatever that looks like. I love you now, I'll love you the same way then, but you know, it's just, it's embracing. It's all about embracing a moment. Some of the things that I did um, in order to really start loving myself honestly came at a later age. Like as I started to heal and do therapy and stuff, some of my life coaches would tell me like, get a scent, put it on your hand every day, look at yourself, smell that, embrace yourself, tell yourself you love yourself. And then you start associating love with the scent that you use. So you take a scent, like aromatherapy, hold like love yourself look at yourself like i love this i love this cellular like loving yourself is number one so it's looking in the mirror and loving what you're looking at because guess what if you don't do that it's like no one around you is going to love you self-love starts here you know what i mean we walk around we get into relationships and we wonder why the other person's not loving you how you want to be loved because you don't love yourself you know what i mean so it starts with that so i would say every day wake up after you wipe the crust out your eye, cause you might be still looking crusty and just like really embrace yourself. Like, yo, like I know you got some work to do and you have a journey ahead of you, but I love you. Cause how many times do you really tell yourself you love yourself? We looking for it everywhere else. Start here and then everything else follows. Because without health, without wellness, we cannot have anything else. You know what I mean? Like without my health, I can't work. Without my health, I can't make money. You can't get up and do anything. You have to feel your best to get the best. So once I uh, got it all together mentally and started loving myself, curves, flat stomachs, abs, all starts in the kitchen, it's nutrition. So you could do the work in the gym and that's great. That's a part of the battle, but a large bulk of it is what you eat. You have to be conscious of what you eat. Also, as I was growing, I realized that I would have a cheat day a week, but not a full day, like a meal or so, because if you do a day, like it's a spiral. <laughs> it's a full spiral when you start saying, I'm just gonna cheat all day, and then you just drag it on. So I feel like it's really important to allow yourself a snack or a dessert or whatever, re reward yourself for the week that you have, but like, don't take it too far. There's no shortcuts in fitness. You need to be healthy from the inside out. And even if you take a shortcut, you're gonna wind up right back at point A. And again, as you get older, your body weight fluctuates, you get pregnant. I got pregnant and for me, pregnancy wasn't the issue with my weight. Like I worked out my entire pregnancy. I only gained 20 pounds, which was not much. And that weight came off like this right after my son. And to me, my body weight fluctuated more after my son, like after, after, not right after, I mean, depending on stress hormones, what's going on around you, all that stuff affects your body. And so I, I've i just learned to not be an extremist. Sometimes people overdo it. It's like, are you enjoying your life? You know, I wanna enjoy my life, but I also wanna be healthy and I wanna be fit. So I find the safe place in between there. I became a vegetarian, A, because when I was younger, probably like, 13 or something, my uncle showed me some videos of some animals and I was like, oh, I don't wanna eat meat anymore. And so I thought I'd be able to do that, but I grew up in a household where everyone eats meat. So I was like, yo, like this is impossible. You're not doing this, you go eat meat. So then when I moved to LA and I changed my journey, my whole fitness journey, I was only eating chicken and turkey. And then eventually I remember one day I went to breakfast and I ate some turkey sausage and it made me sick. I was like, I'm done. And I just cut meat out and that was like forever ago. That was it for me. Like I started my journey probably over 13 years ago. I'm vegetarian, borderline vegan, which is like strange. Cause like I don't eat cheese, but I like pizza. And then I'm not gonna eat pizza all the time, but I'm not gonna tell you I'm never gonna eat it. And then sometimes I eat eggs. The thing is with being a vegan or vegetarian, there are unhealthy ones and then there are healthy ones. Some people say, well, I know vegetarians that gained weight, but are they eating French fries and bread every day? You know what I mean? Like you have to know what foods to eat and what's going to help your body. You need to know your brain foods. There's so many different things that play a large part in the gym with your energy, how you feel when you wake up, your skin, like all of that stuff matters. So guys, you will not get the results you want without eating what you need to eat. It's all about nutrition. For me, diet is super important. I know that if I go too much left and I start doing some other stuff that has nothing to do with being super healthy, 
body going to the right. It ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna go the right way. So being, um, for me, it's like making sure that you eat the right stuff is super important or your body's not gonna do what you want it to do. I definitely attribute a lot of my success in the gym to making sure I'm eating the right things. You know, the minute you're not doing the right thing in the kitchen, you're not doing the right thing, period. You could work out all day, but that body's not gonna come on in if you're not eating the right stuff. You know, like if you want the snatch, like if you're looking for, I don't know if you're looking for the, the body. I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> For me, when it comes to nutrition and in the kitchen, I actually work with a vegan chef because for me, I am very busy. And so sometimes having meal preps and things prepped ahead of time really helps you stay on schedule and on track. So I suggest in the beginning of the week, you know what I mean, doing your meal prep, this way you stay on track. If I kinda don't have that, I know that I'm gonna be all over the place that week. I don't know what I'm gonna eat, I might slip up, I might have me a slice of pizza, there's a couple things I might do. So. I would say making sure that you stay on track like that. Mine is staying on track, making sure I have meals pre-prepped for the week, or I am going left, right, here, there. I like to keep focused, be focused. Stay focused in the kitchen. Okay guys, so I have a really odd diet because I'm allergic to a lot of stuff. I don't like a lot of stuff, I'm picky, but I mean like I can do like zucchini squash, uh, salads, some nuts smoothies, green juices. There's a lot of stuff I eat. I'm pretty much all the way vegan. So a lot of the food that I'm gonna eat is going to be vegetables and fruits and all of the fun stuff. I think it's fun. People think that vegans are like rabbits. Like we only eat uh, lettuce. I swear, when I talk to people who don't fully get it, they'll make me a salad and I get mad because like there's so many other things you can eat besides just salad when you're a vegan. There's a lot of good nutritional food out there. Like you gotta know that. One of the things that I do every day is I at least have, try to have one cup of green juice. I mean, and honestly, if you don't like greens, the easiest way is to do it like that. I actually like, love greens, but I like it liquid as well. People think green juice is gross. If you don't like green juice, do it with apple. You won't even know, like it's gonna be sweet. My go-to meals are, okay, the greedy ones. Italian food is my favorite, so if I could just, you know, live in pasta and pizza, it'd be great, but I can't. But that's like my favorite. I love Italian food. Healthy-wise, like a brown rice and some like, you know, spinach, broccoli. I'm not that creative with my meals, which is why I need help. My chef is super creative. Since he's vegan, he gets it, he gets me. He knows all of the nutritional stuff, which helps me because I'm constantly learning. I feel like in the health world, there's so much to learn and there's so many food, fruits and vegetables you'd be surprised you never even heard of. But he just keeps me together and like, he doesn't use salt in my food, which is awesome. When I'm out and about in the real world fending for myself, then I eat salt, but not on purpose, it's just what everyone cooks with. I can cook, by the way, but I just prefer to um, have a little help in the kitchen. He's Caribbean, so a lot of the food, like, I like Caribbean food, um, like stewed chickpeas, brown rice. My morning is the best, because it's like plantains with like cabbage and uh, like bread lentil patties, amazing. Breakfast is my favorite part of the day. So the thing with carbs is your body actually needs carbs. You don't want to fully cut carbs out, um, it's all about portion control as well. I mean, if you're gonna overdo carbs, you're gonna get overdone carb results. But your body needs it, and actually when you're working out, you need a carb to burn off or you get really tired in the gym. So that's why knowing the food categories and what you can and can't have is the best way to do it. All right, so I have this Pilates Pro Ring. So if you go down like this, this can go here. You can do like so many things. First of all, you can do this, which is some core stuff. Then you can be like tabletop with it, and you can, I can't really talk while I'm doing it, but you get what I, you get the gist. I like to use this for core when I'm on the road, and this is a really cool ring. It's a Pilates Pro ring. Also, these bands, when you get up, and Built Not Bought is actually in the process of selling some of these, and you can do glute bridges. So if you're like this and it's here, you can go one, two, three, four, down. You can get bands at home. You can get pro yoga things. There's a lot of different things. There should be no excuses, like at all. And even with, um, I have this band here. If you get one like this, you can do like, box. this one is actually pretty um, heavy for me to do boxing, but one, two, 
three. So you can warm up like that. Like there are a million things you can do at home. No excuses on the bed, on the floor, wherever you gotta get it, get it. That's what I'm saying. Fitness waits for nobody. I wanna know, tell me, do you guys wanna see a whole fitness workout? Cause I can do it with my trainer. Cause like, I'm not a trainer. I'm just, you know, a woman that wants to keep it together. I would love to do a workout for you guys, but let me know, comment below. Also make sure you subscribe. Come on, come be a part of the family. I love you until next time. Get fit, get right. Thank you.